Hi everyone, it's Anya from Cooking with Plants and welcome back to my kitchen for another delicious recipe. So today I'm super excited to share my favourite recipe for a sandwich spread that I use almost daily. And I don't just use it on sandwiches, I mix it through cooked potatoes, I mix it through pasta, I use it on baked zucchini for example. So it's very versatile and very delicious and it's loaded with iron. So the main ingredient that is really going to give you some plant-based iron is the cannellini beans. So white beans are right at the top of the, the ladder. When it comes to the amount of iron, your bang for buck is going to be having cannellini beans or white beans. They're way above a lot of the other beans and they're really delicious too. And if you blend them up, you can use them in sauces and it makes things very creamy and they're also a neutral color, so you can use them in almost any dish. It's not going to change the color of a dish. So I love using these. So I'm going to start with about half a cup of cannellini beans. And I've drained them. They're organic beans and they have no added salt. So they're just the ones I like to use because they're nice and neutral in any recipe. Then I'm going to add two tablespoons of avocado. So if you don't like avocado, in place of avocado, you could use tahini. You could use your favorite nut butter. This is delicious with almond butter as well. So play around with things that you like. Even if you have some pureed pumpkin on hand, put that in instead. If you want to lower your fat intake and you want to keep the avocado out of it, you might be allergic to avocado, you might not like avocado, then pureed pumpkin or some baked pumpkin mashed through this is absolutely delicious as well. All right, so next I'm going to add a teaspoon of white miso paste. So instead of adding salt, I'm just adding the miso paste. It adds a beautiful flavor to this and you don't need much to flavor it up. Then I'm adding some dried chili flakes just to taste. So if you like it spicy, add more. If you don't like spice, leave it out. You could use some smoked paprika instead if you want a very mild, neutral taste to this. But I'm adding about a fourth of a teaspoon of dried chili flakes. I've also got one teaspoon of mixed Italian dried herbs. So these are just a mixture of parsley, rosemary, thyme, those types of Italian herbs just add amazing flavor. And also the parsley, dried parsley actually has iron in it as well. So again, it just gives another little boost to this, this sandwich spread. And then I'm going to add half a teaspoon of dried coriander. You could use cumin, dried cumin instead. That adds a delicious uh, flavor to this as well. And then I'm adding a mixture of white pepper and black pepper. So I like to use a combination of the two because they actually engage different parts of your palate so you don't need as much salt or if you're trying to cut down on salt or not use salt in your diet then using white pepper and black pepper will trick your palate and your mind into thinking that you're actually eating something salty when it's actually the pepper engaging those parts of your mouth. So definitely give that a try. And then all that's left to do is to mash this up. And I'll just use a fork for this, but if you wanted it really, really creamy, you could use a blender if you wanted to, but I usually don't bother. I like having a little bit of texture, especially if I'm using it on a sandwich. I like to have a little bit of texture with the beans and then just put whatever sandwich ingredients you like. So tomato, lettuce, uh, some onion, Whatever you like to put on your sandwiches will go amazingly well with this. Okay, so once this is mashed to the texture that you like, all that's left to do is to eat it. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a taste test before I make a sandwich out of this. Mmm. That is so delicious. It's creamy. It's loaded with nutrition. And this as a sandwich filling, oh my goodness, I'm sure you will love this. I'm going to leave a link below to the written recipe so you've got all the measurements that I've included here. And you can have a look at that recipe and maybe join me on my Facebook group 
and share some photos of what you make. Show me your favorite sandwich fillings that you're going to put with this. It's so quick, easy, and delicious. So hit the like button if you like this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you for the next recipe. Bye for now.